Ty Lopez. Dude, you freaking scam artist. Is he a scam? Some people go, oh, Ty's a scam. Because in 2015, people made videos and were like, Ty, that's not a Lamborghini or whatever. That's a green screen. There was a million conspiracies. But that's two people's advantage who listen to me. How much did you make last month? I made 150 k last month. We used to make minimum wage. Now we're doing over 70000 a month. Marketing agency making 12000 a month. 35000 a month. Making 12000 a month. So now I'm at $10,000 a month. Uh, about two fifty. All the way up until twenty thousand a month, five thousand dollars a month. I'm doing over sixty thousand dollars in gross monthly sales. Twenty five hundred dollars. Now I'm making fifteen point five a month. On track to make six figures. Two hundred twenty four thousand. Over one hundred thirty k. One hundred thirty k a month. And you're doing. I can't even post all the testimonials. I can't. There's too many. Just remember this. The less people who believe something can happen, the more opportunity for you. The more competitors, the less profit you'll make. That's why when people say, oh, Ty, all this stuff I see you posting looks like a scam. Like, you have courses and things, and are people actually making money? Because I see you saying, this person made 50 grand a month and 20 grand a month, and oh, that seems like paid actors. I'm happy, you should be happy too. Less competitors, less suppliers, the more profit for you. Supply and demand. You don't need a college degree. You don't need an MBA to figure out supply and demand. And the demand's there. You know how many business owners want somebody to run their social media marketing for them? Almost all business owners. Coca-Cola doesn't even know how to run, run their own Instagram. They got less followers than me. Biggest brand in the world. They post once a week. They, don't, they spend a billion dollars on marketing and they forget about social media. That's an opportunity for you. Maybe don't go after Coca-Cola as your biggest client or your first client. I should say, but sky's the limit. You might get a client like that one, do, one day that pays you a million bucks to do their social media marketing. E-commerce I've been telling people about. I mean, Black Friday had the biggest sales day online ever. Everything's going bankrupt. That stores, Sears is going bankrupt. American Apparel went bankrupt. JCPenney will be gone. Walmart's on the decline. Amazon's up. So the less people who believe what we're talking about, what you and I understand, be excited. I always tell people once in good conscience, I say, listen, here's an opportunity for you. And then if they shout back, oh, I don't believe you, prove it to me. I'm like, why would I prove it to you? Why would I create a competitor who has animosity and nothing but venom? I'm happy for you to stay in the status quo, my friend. Stay with what you're doing. Build your, open your little store, you know, brick and mortar store. In good conscience, I can say, I told people, they didn't listen. Real estate, bigger opportunities than ever. And there's going to be a recession here relatively soon. You can count on it. Capitalistic cycles go five to 10 years. Last one was 2008. It's coming right around the corner. Real estate will shift hands. I was listening to Jim Rohn and Jim Rohn goes, uh, he's a motivational speaker who died a long time ago, but amazing. If you want to hear something badass, listen to Jim Rohn's. He has a four hour YouTube video before he died. And he says, if all the money in the world was spread out like a communist wanted to do, evenly, it'd go right back into the hands over 10 years. It'd go right back to the people who know how to manage it. M wealth moves around to those with skill, to those with acumen, to those with diligence, to those who think, to those who work hard and smart. And so when the recession comes, people still need a place to live. They still need a home. You think that's gonna go away? You think people are gonna stop needing real estate? No, but it's gonna shift and you could be one of those people who starts owning your whole block. You know, you could be the landlord and you could be a nice landlord. You don't have to exploit people. You can provide good housing and profit for yourself and a good deal for them. You don't have to be exploitative. That's not what this is about. There's plenty of money to go around. People will tell you there isn't but they don't understand that GDP has gone up every single year for the last hundred years. The amount of money per person has gone up. I'm not saying the world's perfect, no. The least uh, <laughs> exciting part of planet Earth is the amount of opportunity they, there is versus the amount of people who know how to take it. Take it. And in order to take it, I'm gonna tell you three things you gotta know. To take the upcoming opportunities, the disrupted industries, e-commerce, social media, real estate, and you to profit by it, and you to make a job out of it, and a career and an income out of it. You're gonna need three things. One, you're gonna have to be able to see what other people can't see. When other people are skeptical, you gotta, Jeff Bezos got on the e-commerce train in 2004. He's one of the first people ever. And look, he was rewarded with being the wealthiest person in the world. 
Same with Steve Jobs with computers. They all laughed at him. But that means there was no competitors and he just went in there. That's number one, you gotta have that vision and that thick skin. Number two, you have to build some skill. You know, you gotta build some skill. And most people have mentors or people who they kind of give them a boost and guide. Find somebody locally, find somebody online that can help you and cut the learning curve. Because if the learning curve takes too long, then other people come in and I'll take you too long. Even if you saw it first, other people will grab the opportunity before you. And then third, and last but not least, um, when you feel like giving up, remember the Chinese saying, the temptation to give up is greatest right before you're about to succeed. So when you start your little social media marketing agency or e-commerce or your entrepreneur venture or a side business while you keep your main job or your real estate investing or whatever it is you do, you're gonna encounter struggles. This ain't a get rich quick talk that I'm giving. You can get rich, but it rarely is quick and easy. But it happens and sometimes it's easier than you think. It hasn't been as hard as I thought it would be. But that's not to say it hasn't been full of struggles. I mean, growing up, I thought it was impossible. <laughs> I never met a millionaire in my life. It's not impossible. But remember, the temptation to give up is greatest right before you're about to succeed. So get excited when things aren't working perfectly because that means you're getting closer, my friend.